Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning to Worldwide. Today we'd like to perform and talk about our song is called Reach for You. Thanks for tuning in. Glad the sound is good. Thank you, Robert.
Thank you very much for tuning to World Wide Stories Behind the Songs. Today's Reach for You of our album for 2016 is called Wild Ride by Wild Ride. Self titled. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay, one day uh, I woke up and uh, I had this, uh, I picked up my guitar and I was like jamming, jamming, jamming and I was like... It's like kind of dark uh, uh, riff, the guitar riff, dark. And uh, so I was like, oh, this can be like kind of great, uh, 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 great uh, riff for the guitar, like maybe uh, some verses or something like that so and I thought maybe uh, maybe for this kind of dark uh, uh, like sounding uh, uh, guitar riff is maybe it's good to write some kind of positive uh, lyrics to it so so I started writing uh, the first verse I think you did you carry about uh, some of that? Uh, yeah, I was just checking. I wrote some of it later, but right, you wrote right. the verse, yes. first verse. It's a, so I, I was like saying to myself, okay, we must be dedicated, like dedicated, uh, like to be dedicated is like kind of whatever we do, we have to be dedicated to that to do the good job. Showing how we care. It's like uh, uh, we have to care about what we're doing. Uh, we are ordinary and simple, like anybody is, is the same. Uh, we are very simple people and uh, extra and uh, ordinary people. There's nothing uh, uh, with that. Uh, I mean, uh, how I can say? You're, you're, we're all equal. Is that what you're trying yes, to say? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's what I want to say. And with extraordinary hearts. Even the, the, the worst person in the world have a heart and uh, will cry for somebody else, I think, right? I mean, we're, we're all, we can all be good and a little bit bad. <laughs> I mean, we have all of those within everybody. Everybody has some good and some not so good. But everybody can, everybody can be the nice, nice pe people, I mean, I think. Everybody can be nice. Right. So, uh, uh, and now we're going to, uh, to chorus. And um, I was like saying to me, oh, I reach for you and you reach for me. It's like kind of I think, I, did exchange. I come up with that? Did I come up with that part? Uh, Maybe because I, because when he's writing songs, he'll be like this, na 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 na, he and and he'll be like making noises that sound like words, so I'm kind of guessing what he's saying, but he doesn't know what he's really <laughs> saying. I'm like, it sounds like you're saying I reach for you, so it can be like I reach for you, you reach for me. It's like we're both here for each other, you know. That's that's where I was kind of going with the meaning yeah. of the song. I reach for you, you reach for me, let's be in this together. Right, right. This is nice. It's kind of like a love song, but it can be related to anybody, family members, friends, and um, yeah. And then the next verse. We are full of faith and? Courage. Courage, yeah. Showing, oh, always doing our best. Yeah, we are always doing our best. I think, All right? Were you talking about music? It's not uh, about the music, but uh, if you do something in your life, it's like uh, we, are, we try to do our best all the time. If you do in the, if we uh, parents or if we we are other, we work in uh, somewhere or we doing anything, uh, construction or or repair the car or or playing the music or write some songs. Well, that verse always, I, for some reason, I always think of firemen. 
<laughs> like we are full of faith and courage, always doing our best. You know, fire firefighters are, you know, that's risking true. their this lives. Can be that's true. Uh, well, police officers, I mean, many different people right. are doing brave things every yes. day. Yes. You're my hero every day. Yeah. That can be anybody, your dad, you, you I mean. Yes. You, you're my hero every day. You and I will never give up. Yes, we never, we're not gonna give up to, to do the our great stuff uh, we are doing and, and uh, to be alive and uh, 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 yes, uh, uh, you and I will never give up. Yeah, I think you wrote all of that. And then I think I wrote this kind of bridge, when the darkness falls, I will be waiting for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of like this is scary. <laughs> I think probably you you weren't home, and then yeah, I was just thinking I'll be here waiting for you, kind of. Right, right. When you get home. And that the guitar is like kind of the sample. Uh, uh, it's like the theme of. Uh, uh, <laughs> So it came to me like this, the seed guitar, and I played the seed guitar on the top of the uh, of the music of the chorus. And uh, what I like about it is uh, when I when I used to play at the Santa Monica Pier, when I was playing this lead guitar, uh, people was just I don't know for some reason this one this lead guitar I don't know why, but uh, just uh, people was stopping by and putting me the tips. It's good lead guitar. Uh, like more than so so uh, uh, when I uh, uh, wrote the song, I just play uh, mostly. Actually, what happened is the guitar just came like this, it like uh, mostly like in the first take. It's like this how I like uh, the my lead guitars. It's like just not thinking about anything. It's just a kind of play it, and uh, uh, so uh, uh, so I recorded like this and. Uh, Afterwards, a little bit the, the problem to learn it, uh, how what I did. So finally, I, I learned it how what I played, and uh, and uh, as I said at Santa Monica Pier, they were like putting the tips. So uh, so I really really learned it how to play it after that, <laughs> <laughs> because that was a good tips at the pier, and and uh, also I'm glad to 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 play uh, this lead guitar as I recorded. Uh, on the on our uh, song, on Robert, our CD. Robert has a question. How do we come up with song ideas? Well, this particular song, he was, you were just playing with the guitar. Oh, just like kind of jamming, pick up the guitar, and that was. <laughs> and that mostly uh, the, the 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 music is like kind of. Uh, uh, I trust, uh, I trust, uh, I don't know how to call this, uh, uh, my instinct to, to uh, when you get the riff, uh, uh, some kind of riffs, you can think like, oh, this is enough good because uh, like different uh, famous songs, uh, they may be better or, 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 you know, because they're famous, they're just only famous and that, uh, 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 but I think, uh, it's possible to have to believe if your instinct and that just uh, uh, keep going to developing the, the stuff. So, I also have an answer for that question regarding the lyrics. I think it's like whatever you're thinking about, kind of at that time in your mind, like something, whatever you're kind of feeling, that's kind of what I go with. So for this song, you were think, feeling like we must be dedicated to what we're doing, you know? And yeah, this is my first lyrics of that, yes. It's like kind of, we have to be dedicated to what we're doing and uh, showing how we care. It's like kind of the, the, the first thing I'm saying that song because 
it is very important uh, to to if uh, as I'm a music writer, uh, uh, I have some songs I didn't finish, uh, and uh, uh, because uh, I was saying to myself, oh okay, I'm going to finish this later. I'm just going to record this on my little recorder, and maybe I will finish later. But uh, later is is good to have this kind of uh, idea for later, which I did some songs like that too. I recorded on the little recorder and uh, I uh, I play uh, uh, later on. I will listen. Oh, let's do some song with. Okay, but I think the best way to do is like to keep this uh, uh, iron hot. Yeah, once yeah. you start writing, when you start, just, just uh, keep uh, going. Yeah, just just have to keep going and. Uh, and uh, everything is coming slowly, lyrics, and there's cuts also for the lyrics because you want to say that kind of the interesting stuff. You want to say the stuff is uh, making uh, making sense. So, uh, so but uh, you have to keep going and dig it out, dig it out, dig it out. And uh, finally, by the end of the day, you will, when you go and sleep, you're like, oh, wow. I never thought I will, I will uh, write this kind of song. Where it's come from? I even, uh, like, uh, you you can surprise yourself. I think I think it's better to not think too much. Just yeah. do write your feelings, like from your heart. Like that's right. what I kind of try to do. Or you know what you're thinking about and how you're feeling, and uh, that's that's what I usually do. But we're talking about this song. But I think I'm talking about. It's a Geneva song, right? Yeah, like our song "Peace in the Neighborhood," Merrick had the riff, like some guitar riff, and I was like, "Da da da da, peace in the neighborhood," because I was trying to think what something positive I could bring to the world, you know, that's got meaning. And I was like, oh, "Well, all we need is peace in the neighborhood," so that's how yeah, that one yeah. came around. So I have but, to keep the, yeah. the 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 instinct and also the uh, uh, to to write uh, whatever is coming now uh, to you and, and this is what happened to me I was like keep going with my lyrics and I'm saying okay uh, uh, you might hear every day this is uh, kind of cool yeah because all the people they are here for me because they doing something like you guys you watching now also uh, uh, you watching our shows you coming to our shows uh, live shows also uh, so you you're also the heroes because to come we without this you we can be we can do that so uh, this is very important so yes like the song we're we're all in it together <laughs> yeah yeah and our instinct is the the best things uh, uh, to do just uh, uh, let you know that uh, uh, the, today is our twentieth uh, episode oh stories behind the songs. Number twenty. Yes, and uh, and uh, we didn't very uh, script any any of our uh, songs that we're going to, to do. Like months months ago, before uh, uh, we tried to do like stories behind the songs, like uh, videos, and that we were like sitting with the guitar, and that we put the camera on, and that video, and that we were, like, okay, we will say that and that, okay, and. Uh, Somebody did something wrong. Oh no, let's start over. And uh, it's hard so, to go live. <laughs> yeah, so we were like, we abandoned that. And uh, lately, lately, we start to do it live. And uh, we decide to don't, we just not say anything before we, we go in live. We're not practicing. We're not, uh, well, we're practicing the songs, but are we not practicing what we're going to say? Yeah, it's we sometimes script. surprise each other. Yeah, yeah. We, sometimes we, we discover between us. Uh, oh, yeah. You thought that. I thought that. Okay. It, this came like this. But I think it's the best. Is the, the to be uh, uh, to be that kind of life, and uh, it's what we like. It's how I like. It's like the writing the song is the same. <laughs> yeah. It's to be spontaneous and and doing. Uh, uh, yeah. No no script. <laughs> Robert says, "This is a uh, great music." He's it's been a while since he's heard something like this. Oh. Thank you. I know it's kind of, it's like a throwback to classic rock a little bit. So that's our kind of genre, rock and roll. 
Yeah, it's it's a little bit different than the everyday. It's uh, it's like kind of you know where we people. we don't uh, we don't have I don't have personality when I I, I play whatever comes to me I don't have especially the uh, like the oh this uh, I like that song of this band and uh, I, I, I try to get the copy of and, uh, uh, and even the, the, like it's good to get the influences uh, uh, of this. Uh, I listen oh, a lot yeah. of music. That reminds me, this song actually reminded me of Foo Fighters. It's like our most similar to Foo Fighters. Of, we don't have any other songs like that. Yeah, because the I drums guess. is like this. Tam, to tam, to tam, to tam, to tam. Maybe this I kind of like Foo Fighters, so yeah, that's, yeah, that's what yeah, it reminded yeah, me of. <laughs> I yeah. remember now. But it's not like we listen to Foo Fighters every day. We listen, we, we listen to no? Foo Fighters like on the radio or occasionally on the TV. Well, but that I'm saying, maybe some kind of airs come in when you wake up or when you pick up uh, in the night, when you keep pick up the guitar, maybe it's coming like, oh, wow, something uh, uh, from this uh, other stuff you listened that day before or another day. So uh, this is possible. But uh, well, most what, what I like about Foo Fighters is not just their music but so much as their work ethic and what what they're able to achieve like when they had their own tv show and i forget what it's called on the highway i forgot but you know what i mean foo fighters tv show um he's always at the grammys and i mean they're just like amazing as to what they've achieved so that's why i really admire them and we went to see them by chance, we went to see the drummer, Taylor Hawkins, and his band at, at a free event in Los Angeles a couple years ago. And uh, yeah, Dave Grohl showed up and they played Foo Fighters songs and it was like a small audience. It was really amazing. That was fun. I think that was like a promo before they had their big, right. big show. So yeah, that okay. was fun. So yes, yeah, so uh, to come back to our song, is how we wrote the the song it's just spontaneous and uh, just uh, uh, lyrics as well uh, we have the songs uh, uh, with a uh, few lyrics uh, on we have some songs with tons of lyrics it depends it's not it's not uh, any uh, manual to do that it's how it comes very naturally to me and to us is how we writing the songs and that uh, this is uh, which for you so uh now I want to invite you to our other other platforms uh, we are on. We are of course on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Periscope, Spotify, SoundCloud, and more. And also we have a website, wildlightbox.com. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Robert oh. likes my drums. Yay! Thanks, all Robert. All right. Yeah. Can we play all this uh, here? We at home, so we we can't we can't unfortunately uh, play the drums, but but uh, can we, so we play the soundtrack. But the soundtrack, Kerry, she's playing the drums mostly at ninety five percent. Kerry, she's playing the drums because sometimes I don't have the the files from from the studio from our song, so I have to do with the drum machine. Fortunately, but I'm mostly 95% of the the, the 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 back track you hear when we play to it is Kerry. She's playing the drums as the live drums, and uh, what I like about Kerry uh, is uh, she be practicing a little bit. At, well, she be, be playing before we record the songs. Usually, we be like uh, play a few times live here and there. Don't say anything. But when Kerry she's going to studio, uh, mostly the first or second take, and that's it. There is two takes, or even uh, mostly it's two takes. But uh, it's, it happens many times: <laughs> one take, first take, and that's done. So this is what I like about Kerry. This is uh, very great and uh, uh, to be in studio because again, uh, efficacy of your instinct uh, 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 to 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 be recorded as fast as possible and I give this feeling of, of the fresh uh, things 
uh, energy, fresh energy. Uh, plus energy. If you if you spend uh, uh, too much time uh, recording in the studio and after two hours of uh, try to play the drums and uh, all these uh, headphones and oh, all well, this all this stuff, it's I'd like kind of. Uh, uh, I think more take is uh, is was going to me. <laughs> it's, I mean, uh, yeah. you, it's taking away all this uh, happiness and pressure of the of the of the of the take of the can be guitar or can well, be. Well, if I know a song really well, it's much easier. But sometimes on the yeah. newer songs, you're like, hmm, not sure what I want to do there. But yeah. Because I think you didn't enough practice. Yeah. That's all. That's, but, uh, that's, that was recent. <laughs> 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 we got some new songs coming out. So that yeah, great. we have some new songs coming out. And, and uh, that's, yeah, yeah. So, so the, yeah, Carrie, uh, definitely, she's doing a great job on the drums, uh, also on the vocals. Uh, again, uh, Reach for You. Uh, it's from our album, 2016 album, Wild Ride by Wild Ride, it's the same title. And uh, unfortunately we don't have any more the uh, physical copies to be sold out. Uh, uh, but uh, you can find them, uh, uh, the songs, uh, al whole album or other songs, and they are rich for you, uh, on iTunes or on other Amazon. platform you are connected to, yeah, your favorite uh, platforms. So uh, that's cool. Awesome. So for now, thank you very much for tuning to Wild Ride, for stories behind the songs. Please uh, like, uh, if you like our video, please uh, uh, share if you, if you like to. And uh, we will see you next time. Stay safe, love what you do, and peace, peace love, love, and, and rock, rock and roll! roll.